Right guys, after last week's little pellet, pellet rig that I showed you, um, I thought you'd, I'd just give you a little insight into um, how I tie up a meat rig. Um, probably more so for later in the year when there's a bit of a bit of extra water on. Um, and again, three, four components. It's it's simple and it's effective and it and it works for me. So again, micro braid. This is the fifteen pound version. Um, depending on the size of the of the meat that I'm that I'm using, again, probably dictated to by how much water is on. Um, but if there's a decent decent amount, the larger the, the the larger the meat. Common sense, really. Larger the meat, the the larger the hook that I use. So, size six power hooks. Hopefully, you can see this little little corum meat screws. Um, I find they go in nice and solid, screw up nice and tight. I never have any issues with my bait coming off from whether I'm underarming it or or casting it if I'm on a slightly larger rither. So, um, yep, little meat screws. So what I do is I, I tie a standard, standard hair rig. Okay, hopefully you can see. Standard hair rig. I try and make the loop as small as I possibly can just to keep it nice and neat just cut the tag end off right so then what we do is I get me meat screw and on the meat screw is a little tiny crook basically inside the inside so i never have any trouble with them coming off hopefully you can see that put that onto the onto the loop of the hair get me hook standard knot this knot and i set it and again if i'm fishing for chub i'll put it right tight right tight to the bend if I, if I can barbell wise I'm not too overly bothered but I, I set it just just off the off of the bend of the off the bend of the hook so again just to knot this knot eight or nine turns and just a couple back to what I say or what I call lock it Pass that back through. Pull up. And there you have that. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And I'll get a piece of meat. Just for the purpose. A little bit more spicy meat. Just ease it in gently and then start to screw. Until it, it feels like, you, you can feel when it's putting pressure on the top of the meat and there you go and again I usually finish it off with either a, a swivel um, or a figure of eight loop knot if I want to change quick using a, a feeder bead or a, a quick change bead and that is it yeah all right give it a go it works for me see how you get on